How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is Rodney Perry of the Vibe Hour, also known as King. I'm here with the lovely, the birthday girl herself, Jalen Josie. And you're closing out your Southern Delicacy tour. Indeed. In your hometown. Mm -hmm. So you was born on Halloween. <laughs> We gotta talk about that. Yeah. I like this outfit. It's a great costume. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? You. It's the Mad Hatter on the song. It's the Mad Hatter. Why, tell me about this. Why this? Why this? Well, I personally believe that as a Scorpio, people think that we are crazy, but it's really okay. not crazy. It's misunderstood. just it's misunderstood, and I think the Mad Hatter was very misunderstood. He had, had a kind heart, and he was a loving soul mm. um, from the movies that I saw. Okay. Um, so. Uh, I think that's me. I feel like I'm I'm not necessarily misunderstood, but they, they think Scorpios are misunderstood. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you on that mm -hmm. one. I hear you on that mm -hmm. one. Okay, so in terms of spooky season as a whole, are you into the whole vibes? Like be carving pumpkins, all these various things, or have you always felt like it's about me? I don't know why y'all care about all this other scary shit. You know what's crazy? When I was younger, I used to cry on my birthday because I was getting older, but I started to embrace the fact that I was getting older. So mm -hmm. I think today is a big celebration mm -hmm. to the fact that like, yeah, I like spooky stuff. Yeah. yeah, I like ghosts and whatever. I believe in ghosts like big time. Me too. My mom, she, uh, she's from Detroit and the house that they used to stay in apparently um, was, I guess, it was like, um, Irish people used to live there, and then when the, the African Americans moved into the neighborhood, they used to, they started moving out. And so she said that somebody passed, an Irish white man or white woman passed away in their house. And then on Google, oh, I, I, on Google, you type in their address, you can see a woman in the top window. It's the wildest thing. So I, my oh mom, my I grew up on superstitions, all this stuff, like my mom, you know, I mean, you should, I mean, technically, like, it, honestly, like Christianity to a to a to a small point is a little bit of hoodoo. So I mean, yeah, it is. If you want to get, mm -hmm. if you want, if you want to die, I, mean, we, I, wish, I, wish, I, I, I wish we had one time. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Mean, another, mean, another time. Yeah, another time. Yeah, 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 we get the hoodoo things, okay. but no. So, selling delicacy. Yes. The name is wonderful. And it's funny that it was right there. Like, that feels like something that somebody should have already got. <laughs> like, that feels like something that Tweet should have did or somebody <laughs> could have, like, already picked that up and made that into, named that something. So, I love it. I like it. First thing that kind of, you know, brought me into your whole, you know, discography was good soup. Mm -hmm. What you put on, so the, the delicacy mm -hmm. as well. You shot out a lot of different types of soup. You were very international, very inclusive. Mm -hmm. Egoosy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Tell me what do you do, either actions or items, food, whatever you feel like you need, whenever you need kind of to soothe yourself when you're not in your best space, when you feel like you need to pick me up. What do you, what do, you do? Great question. I go to bed. Go um, to bed? You I need go some, to bed. You see some rest. Yeah, I need some rest. Um, when I need to just like debrief, I feel like I do eat a lot of soup. Like I'm a big soup person. I like soup too. Before I started my keto, I used to eat pasta like it was nothing. So now I eat zucchini pasta. So like I take the zucchini and I make it into a noodle. Mm -hmm. And then I eat it. So pasta, like it just basically eating and going to bed. As 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 crazy as that, well not crazy, but as lame as that might sound. That don't sound like it sounds kind of on brand. I <laughs> if you didn't like to eat or you didn't like food, this wouldn't make none of this it would, sense. It wouldn't have made no it's sense. It's a lot of food puns in your thing. My mom says, she's like, there's not a song that you don't mention Brent. some sort of meal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, some size, some iced tea. Some we we talking about something. We talking about the meal. Mm -hmm. Pay for my drink. Pay for Thirsty. my drink. It's going to be something about yeah. some sort of meal. I like that though. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So. Keeping it going with the music, "Man in My Bed." Mm -hmm. We got it. That's a that's a that's a hell of a song. Thank you. I, I think when I first heard it, I really didn't understand it because I was like, okay, what perspective am I really listening from this from? Because it could be a lot of things. Mm -hmm. My initial thing was it had to be your conscience, mm -hmm. but I'm like, let me not assume. Glad I'm here to ask. Tell mm -hmm. me if you can give us the context of that. Yeah. So, "Man in." Many of it is yeah. about uh, these two ladies, mm. and uh, they're fairly close, and uh, really close to be exact. And one of the ladies has a boyfriend, and she is denying it. She just needs to hop up out the closet, and um, <laughs> and and she's you know, and the and the other friend is like, girl, uh -huh. we have this connection. Why don't you just walk out that closet and? Walk towards the light. Okay. 
and uh, this song is basically a, a, a chant uh, to, to, to persuade a young lady to uh, follow the right path. Because mm. if not, she's going to be fairly upset staying in bed with a man she don't want. Yeah. And that's, that's a, I mean, that's a telltale sound for everybody. I see why you seen that as like an anthem. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. you don't really want him in there, girl. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up the phone at 12. So, you're a hell of a songwriter. Thank you. Um, and I love how like imaginative your songwriting is. You can tell that you are a theatrical person. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. Tell me, when was the last song that you felt like they were speaking directly to you? This felt like something that you could have written or it just felt like they were in your head. Like, damn, I, I was literally about to write a song like this for my own peoples. Yo. Jasmine Sullivan's roster. Mm. I I I I wish. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have a roster. I mean, I could. I could. You know. Come on. I, I, you know. I could. <laughs> but but um, a part of me wants this one person who I just feel like I'm not able to to grasp onto because of we're just two different people and yeah. they seem to like me but I feel like I'm doing more and so I wish I could have the ability to to be like ah oh, well you know it's okay because you know I'm not gonna catch feelings you know because I got a roster you know what I mean I'm mm. okay like I, I will if you're you know another one bites the dust basically like you know next train going next one come in and I wish I had that mentality I feel like she's such an incredible writer to write that and it's not necessarily of course yeah she's basically telling somebody don't catch feelings because I have you know other people but like that's just that's such a even though it's 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 not good to say it's such a great like booster in the car I'm driving being like thinking about some guy when I could just be like you know don't get your feelings like that she has that yeah she has that uh -huh. like that song in specific is the one that makes me like remind myself that I don't need to catch feelings because I'm I have a roster that I can't create that for myself as and I know it sounds bad but it does like sound. But she just makes me feel good to the point. The song makes me feel good to the point where it's like I don't really need this person because I can I can move on and be all right. I see. So not that I can move on and find somebody else. I can move on and be all right. I see. I see. And keeping keeping it on, you know, being all right. Mm -hmm. I think anybody listening to your music can tell that you really have a, a thing for intimacy. Mm -hmm. You know. And in a date. In the days that we live in now, they always speak to the dating pool being contaminated. Sure I would love is. to know, how do you stay in that space of being inspired to even get close to somebody, you know? You gotta do it for the plot. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it for the plot, you okay. know? Okay. You just gotta you just gotta go out there because you never know. It mm -hmm. might be that might be the storyline that makes the actual romance in the movie. I feel that. And I feel like we all are characters in our own movie. Mm -hmm. So just do it for the plot. However it makes the movie greater, you know, however you get the Oscar at the end of the day for your own emotional well-being, mm -hmm. do it. I like that. I like that. Okay, so we're going to end off with playing a game. Please, do, I like do, games. Right? We're going to do this and that. Okay, so this or that. I only got a few. Mm -hmm. American Deli or J.R. Crickets? American Deli. Okay. Pecan or sweet potato pie? I'm allergic to pecan, sweet potato pie. There we go. Um, the Wiz or Dream Girls? I knew it was gonna get harder. I knew it was gonna get harder. Damn. Come on. So the Wiz got You Can't Win and I love that song. Mm -hmm. And it got the um uh the the number song. The, mm -hmm. Da -da 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 -da. I like that song, mm -hmm. but Dream Girls got everything, and I feel like yeah, I know my heavy. heart. Yeah, it got heavy, heavy. It got mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. It got yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Dream Girls. Uh, I think Dream Girls. Okay, I Dream Girls. Dream Girls. Yeah. Dream girls. That's a tough. good one. That was a tough one. That's tough. Tough. It's tough for me too. That was so tough. So I get it. Sandy cheeks or pearl crabs? <laughs> Why would you do that? I, I don't even know. This is what I do. Pearl crabs. Okay. You could have said. You could have said whatever you wanted. I could. I you could. You know, I got a rep set. You know, you keeping it fishy. <laughs> uh, Swedish fish or popcorn? Swedish fish and popcorn. Why would you do that? Because you're supposed to put them together. At the... yeah. Try it. Try it. Look. Did you try it? I haven't tried it. You should. I want popcorn, to. Swedish fish in it. Eat it. It's like a savory, sweet type of thing. I'm. 
it's, gourmet. It's, it's, it sound good. Cause gourmet. I like Swedish fish, but a lot of people don't like licorice things in general. Licorice, I mean, black, me. I mean, why would you do black licorice? I don't like black licorice, but I like other things. Swedish fish kind of like gushes. I feel you. Without the gush. Without the gush? I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. Jalen, I appreciate you. Thank you so for much for time. waiting and yeah. giving me this interview. Oh my gosh. Thank you yeah, so this much. This is dope. This is dope. Also, too, I want to let you know, because this is the Vibe Hour. Not only is this interview a part of it, mm -hmm. it's also going to be a whole playlist dedicated to you, too. Oh! Yeah, so I'm going to send that to you people so y'all can see what it is and get it, you know, be able to play out. Come put not only your music, but also music that I feel like makes sense. And you being all food inspired, it's gonna be an easy and fun way <laughs> to put together, you understand? Yeah, put brown sugar in there. You, you, you know, brown sugar. Why not? And, and I'm, I'm big I'm big on D'Angelo, so that's definitely gonna be <laughs> I in there. I love it to be You know what I'm saying? It's definitely gonna be in there. But no, I appreciate you. Thank you, you so know, much. Signing off, this is Rodney Perry, also known as King, and this is the lovely Jalen Josie. Peace. <laughs>